What's good rap artists, this is your man Jimmy Conway from InstantClassicProductions.com and in this video I'm going to show you three ways how to release your mixtape, um, my top three tips part two. Uh, if you didn't get the three first tips, I'll leave, a link in the, I'll leave a link in the description where you can click and watch the first video, okay? Um, but in this video part two, I'm going to give you my top three tips for how to release a mixtape. Uh, tip number one, try not to reuse the same, uh, when you record just when you record your tracks, try not to reuse the same uh, beats that popular artists use. Like, if there's a Drake track that's been done like a thousand times, don't do it. Don't do the same track or a little Wayne or whatever. Um, try to keep it real. Try to keep it as original as possible. Your fans, I think, will respect you more for that. Um, as a side effect, um, there are room, there is room for doing it, but your lyrics truly have to outshine that beat. Like when somebody says, "Wow, he outcooked Drake on this beat," or "He outcooked Lil Wayne," or "He outcooked so and so on this beat," better than he did, then it's worth. You know, redoing it, but if it's not gonna be on that level, uh, try to do something different. Okay. Um, tip number two: uh, find good beats. Um, uh, you can either find good beats, or you can find a producer in your area that could work with you, and um, maybe he could throw you some beats for a little bit of money. Or he may throw it to you on the, on the strength. Uh, most times you're probably going to have to pay. Most producers aren't doing it for free anymore. Just the way it is. It's 2017. Uh, but yeah, if you have to pay for some beats, they're usually not much. Usually between $9.99 and $20. Uh, you can find beats on sites like SoundCloud, uh, YouTube, SoundClick, whatever. Um... Just go to like a YouTube and type in um, Boom Bat Beats and you'll find a whole bunch of Boom Bat Beats pop up or type in 30 South Instrumentals, whatever you want to look, whatever you want, the top ones will come up, okay? Um, tip number three, get good cover art for your mixtape. That's probably one of the most important things you can do for your mixtape. Um, back in the day when I used to go shopping for CDs and tapes, I would look for um, covers. I would look at the covers of the stuff, or you know, as a producer myself, when I'm looking, when I'm in a record store, I would go sampling for something. I would go looking for samples in a record store, and I would base what I picked, you know, what I bought on what the cover looked like. So make sure you get a good tight cover. For your mixtape um if you can't do the art yourself uh, well if you could do art uh you may want to look into a program like gimp it's a free program for mac and pc uh gimp is like the equivalent of photoshop uh, except it's free and it's i think hosted by you know a bunch of people who like creating art so it's very similar to photoshop and um, you can create your own art or you can go to a site like fiverr.com uh, I'll leave a link somewhere in the description below fiverr.com is a great way you can find and um, outsource someone who has been making mixtape cover for years to make a cover for you and that way you get a high quality cover um, usually within usually within a 24 to 48 uh, our turnaround um, so that's a good way to get a good cover done for your mixtape and it saves you it saves you up time to write music uh, write more music you know for yourself okay um, those are my top three tips part two on how to release a mixtape um, please like comment and subscribe and click the notification bell uh, if you have any questions hit me up mm. This is your man Jimmy Conway from Instant Classic Productions. One love.